What's going on y'all? Welcome back to the channel. So today we got a little video for you guys, a walkthrough of a new kayak we just picked up. All right y'all, so here she is, the Old Town Sportsman 120. It is in the ember color. I picked this baby up the other day and it is 12 foot in length. It's 33 and a half inches wide. It weighs 85 pounds and a max capacity of 500 pounds. Now, usable capacity is 415 pounds, so you deduct the 85 from the 500 that the boat has, and that's how you get your number of 415. All right, y'all, so let's dive in, take a look at the features on this kayak. All right, y'all, so as a kayak angler, you can never have too much stuff on your kayak. As you guys know, in the industry, we want more, more, more. So we're getting back down to basics, but let's see what we can go ahead and store in this kayak. All right, so first off, we got this front hatch here. So if you pop this baby open, pop this lid up, and it's got a nice seal on it, like a rubber gasket around it, and it actually seals really well. So pulling this off, I mean, if you look, I mean, it's just a wide open tank in here. I mean, you could fit, um, if you wanted to put a, a, a fish finder in here, you could easily put a battery up front here. Um, I would probably put, um, a PFD in here, um, probably some sort of uh, first aid kit, you know, any kind of light or anything else that I may need to store in here. You could also fit some Plano boxes in here for some of your fishing tackle. So let's go ahead and put this baby back on and uh, let's take a look and see what we have for gear track. So we have uh, a track here on the left and right side in the front. It would be good for your GoPro or you know a paddle holder or something of that nature to go ahead and put this on here um, you can rig up your fish finder do a lot of things i know yak attack has a lot of gears for storage you could also put one of those little um i can't remember the name of it but the little black boxes you can put one of those up here to keep your phone or whatnot and then we have here under the seat we have some storage here so you can see that they gave me a plano box so i went ahead and just put it under here for you guys to see I'd probably put some soft plastics down there, maybe some pliers or something. You also have this little bin here, so you can kind of put, you know, your Plano box right here and on the side. This one's a little too big, but I'm sure you could fit one of the smaller ones in here for maybe some, you know, terminal tackle or whatnot. And then you have a cup holder on each side, which is actually pretty nice because, um, you know, depending on if you're left or right handed, I mean, it's not that huge of a deal, but it's nice to have a cup holder on each side. You know, you could also use this as a bin for storing some of your used up soft plastic so you're not throwing those in the water. And then you come to the back, you have a rod holder on each side, and, um, you know, it's pretty nice to have those two rod holders. So if you don't have a black pack, you could always just, you know, use these two rod holders, and then you have a forward-facing one right here in the front of the kayak. So catch a fish, you can always put this in here, you know, retie up or take that fish off and you have it out of the way. You're not juggling your rod and playing around with it. So once again, you have these two rod holders in the back and then you have a huge tank well here, which is awesome. So you could fit your black pack in here. I think the smaller one would probably fit in here best. So we put the, the black pack pro in here. It is the 16 by 16 and it is not gonna fit in here. Um, if you look, the rod holders are kind of affecting that. So what you could do possibly, if you do have the 16 by 16, you can go ahead and put the rod holders in the front. Maybe you could fit two of them in the front and two of them in the back. But ideally with the rod holders on here, you're only gonna be able to maybe fit a 13 by 13 and you still might have to modify it. All right, y'all, so this is what I was talking about. Yak Attack makes a track pack that you can go ahead and sit on the side so you can store your phone or any other tools or anything you might need. Here, these are stackable, so you could put two, three, however many you wanna get. Um, I'd recommend just the one if you're paddling. Um, that way it makes it a lot easier to paddle. That way you're not stacked up too high and interfering with uh, you know, the paddling, like I said. So. All right, y'all, it got hot out here real quick. Uh, Central Florida in the summer is no joke. So let's talk a little bit about the features on this kayak and what I like and uh, you know what Old Town has set up on this kayak to make it nice for you as the fisherman. So we already talked about the well. There's plenty of storage space on this kayak, which is really nice, but 
um, let's talk about these pedals here, the um, foot uh, rests on here. So it's nice that, um, you know, these are right here. You know, these are easily adjustable. They just clip right in and you can adjust it to any height. So I'm a big boy, so I have my feet gonna be probably all the way out here, but we'll see when we get on the water. Uh, next thing, you know, you have this adjustable seat, which it's really easy to do. These just, this comes up. This pops out, real simple. Ooh, man, that seat is already scorching hot. But these just clip in right here, and then it folds back into place. Now you have a low angle, and then we can just flip this back down. It clicks right out, pull this baby up, put it back into place, and you're right back in that high position again. So really easy to move the seat and honestly this the really nice thing about this seat is it's so easy to take out that when you clean this thing you could easily just pop this off hose the whole thing down and you don't really have to worry about much getting into those nooks and crannies and as light as it is at 85 pounds super easy to just flip this thing over dry it real quick so i really like that feature seats easy to take out you could store this thing away and not have to worry about the seat being in it um, the next thing I really like is they gave you this standing strap, um, you know, helps you to stand up. And, um, I, for me, I don't know personally if I'll be able to stand in this, but it's nice because the seat doesn't go raised too high. Let's click this into place, but the seat doesn't go too high. So having that lifting strap will really help you kind of help out, get that leverage to get up a lot easier. Plus... If you want to check the stability, just make sure you hold on to this until you feel like you're stable. And then when you're going to sit back down, you can kind of just hold on to this so you ease yourself back in the seat, which is really nice. So the next thing that I want to talk about is they got this little paddle holder on here. And I think this is actually really nice, very cool, easy, easy design um, for somebody being a paddle kayaker. And this just comes up. You just snap your um, snap your paddle into place, and then you can just put this baby up over it to go ahead and make sure it doesn't fall off. So I think that's really great. All right, y'all. So Old Town was definitely thinking of us as the kayak angler. I would highly recommend this for a beginning kayak angler. I think this is the perfect setup if you want to paddle, if you want to go out and adventure. Um, I used to live in Jupiter, Florida. That's where the Jupiter Bassin name came from. And I would go out to this place called River Bend, and this would be an extremely awesome kayak to take out there. You have freshwater and saltwater fishing, best of both worlds. But this thing is going to be a champ out there. So. That being said, and plus, Old Town has a lifetime warranty on their hull. So as long as you don't do anything stupid with it, they will take care of you. And I contacted Old Town's customer service. They forgot to give me the plug whenever I purchased this. It just wasn't with the kayak. So they sent me out one super easy. So it was really easy speaking with them. That's on the way. But firsthand, I can attest to their customer service being really good. And it was fast and easy speaking with them. So... Let's go ahead and take this baby out on the water. I will see you guys out there and we'll check this baby out. We'll do a little performance test firsthand and see how it feels. Dude, this thing zooms with the paddle. Let's see how far we can take this thing out before it comes out. That's, that's actually not bad. Yeah, the paddling is really easy in this thing. Oh yeah, that's good with it at that length. Wow, this thing tracks really well. I like it. I wish I could kind of show you guys from a 
That's one of the things that I don't like about this is that there's no rear track. So you can't put, you know, like your um, Boomstick Pro or anything to get that like higher up view. That's something you'd have to add as an aftermarket. We got a fish. We got a fish. We got a fish. A little guy. That was pretty quick. You know what? Since that happened, let's get the old net out here. Not really holding any water in here, which is really nice. Um, Dude, look at this deformed little guy. <laughs> so that's the second fish since we've been out here. So we've been, uh, putting in work on this new kayak so I'm starting to like it maybe it's a good luck charm but let's get this guy back in all right y'all so so far this thing is pretty awesome it is very uh stable I'm rocking back and forth and I don't feel unstable at all on it it's very stable to me um that being said too, I'm about 350 pounds. And if you can look, I mean, with the scuppers out, we're not really getting much water in here. There's a little bit of water that carried over from me getting in as well as the two fish I've caught so far, which we've caught two fish, which is pretty awesome. Um, the seat I'm in is very comfortable. I would say my biggest complaint so far as a content creator is not having tracks in the back to be able to put say like a Boomstick Pro or something like that, which we can go ahead and add, that's no problem. But I'm just saying out of the factory, it is a decently priced kayak. So you would think that they would kind of keep that in mind, but I know this kayak has been around for quite some time. And um, I would expect if Old Town starts to make newer ones of these, they would probably put a track in the back. I believe on the PDL as well as the um, the autopilot, I believe they do have tracks on the back. So maybe it's just something about this one, make it more affordable or whatnot. But that's something I would like to personally have if I was paddling is just to have one on the back. So easy to add, but something that you would think would be included in the price whenever you purchase this. So that being said though, I mean, we've caught two fish so far just being out here. And we have a airplane interrupting our video. But one thing I need to get used to is as a paddle kayak, the wind definitely plays a huge part in it. And I forget that having a tight X with a motor as well as a pedal drive, it's easy to get through stuff like that. So you kind of have to be a little more strategic, but there's no problem with me. This thing is super easy to paddle. Um, I would like to have a bigger paddle because I'm a larger guy, but that's something that like, that's, that's not the kayak. That's something you purchase separately as a user. And um, I think that I would be able to optimize this kayak a little bit more. Now with the standing part, 
for me as big as i am and stuff i don't really want to test out the standing part but i may do that at the end when i'm close to the ramp because if i fall in I can always just walk back to the ramp and I don't have to worry about trying to get back in this thing. So we're not trying to fall in. It is super hot out. Um, I do think it's very stable though. It's just something that I don't want to test out on the first try. So, but let's get back to fishing. Um, I know you guys probably watch this as a review, but I feel like it's a fishing paddle kayak. So you want to kind of see how it fishes and you know, the ease of use and stuff. So let's get back on the GoPro. I'll keep you guys updated and we'll get a little bit more fishing and a little more paddling and you know, kind of test this thing out a little bit more, see how it does. So stay tuned y'all. All right, y'all, so we got off the water in perfect timing. It is pouring down rain outside, so we are in here in the laboratory um, just doing the review for this kayak, and all I got to say is this thing is awesome. I really enjoyed the kayak. Let's talk about the performance of it. The kayak paddles amazing. It rips through the water. Um, I had started out my kayak fishing uh, a while back and I had a lifetime kayak I believe it was like the Tamarack, Tamarack Fishing Pro or I can't remember what it is but it was a 13 foot kayak and it paddled okay it wasn't a bad kayak but um, I was in around like 250 ish 260 at the time and I definitely was really low in the water and in this old town kayak you know i'm pushing 350 and i felt very comfortable in it i felt high elevated enough out of the water that i didn't feel like i was like really low um i had all the scuppers out and water was not really coming in too much it was overall for the most part a pretty dry ride with the scuppers out so um but going in like i said the performance the paddling was super easy probably one of the best paddling kayaks that i've ever been in and i've been in a few of them but um overall the paddling was probably the best i've ever been in the stability is really good i tried to stand up in this thing and that is not happening for me as the the size i am 6 6 350 and the angle that I had to uh, pick up my knees and get out of a squat while also kind of being a little unstable in that kayak at 33 and a half inches wide. Um, I would have liked it to be a little bit wider if I wanted to stand on it, but there's a nice base on the kayak. So I think if you're under 250 pounds or in that maybe 275 range and below, I think you could really easily stand up in that kayak. I tried to use the lifting strap, but I don't think that that lifting strap is meant for somebody over 275 pounds because I didn't put all my weight on it. I wanted to pull on the strap just to see how it would feel um, getting out. And I could see a lot of flex in that strap um, from the kayak. So I didn't want to break you know, the plastic or mess up anything on the kayak. So. We avoided that. We did not stand up in it, so I can't attest to the standing uh, stability in it. But it is very stable sitting down. I was rocking back and forth and felt very comfortable. So the performance of it is a 10 out of 10. I mean, the, the, the paddling, the stability, and the turning radius on it is really good. Um, now, getting into the customization features, I didn't mention this whenever we did the walkthrough, but there are inserts and screws in the back of the kayak for you to add either a motor or a rudder, and then on the side for a line trolley for your uh, anchor, an anchor trolley, they have that all set up and ready to go. You just have to add the stuff in there. So that's really good, really thoughtful of them. I think those are key essential things for a kayak angler. And especially if you're going to motorize it, I think you could probably put an NK 180 on it. As a bigger guy like me, you're getting close to that weight capacity. Can't really add too many features or add too much weight to it. So putting a battery and a motor in the back might not be that beneficial or easy to do. Um, I will say I really thought when I was sitting down that the pedals were going to interfere with me, um, you know, not being able to put them in and have them too far. But I actually felt comfortable with those, um, you know, the pedals on the side for your just your your foot rests, I guess you want to call them. So I will say there's two negatives for me personally is I would one like to have tracks in the back to be able to put like a Boomstick Pro on there to be able to get a back angle of me kayaking. 
and um, so that's a negative for me. They at the price point you purchase this kayak out, it should have rails in the back. I believe the PDLs as well as the autopilot do. So um, I think they should have just added that feature to it. But it is nice that you can easily customize it. There's a lot of space in the back to add those tracks. So that is a possibility. So there's not too much of a problem with that. And then I would have liked to have been able to access the storage under the seat. Now, uh, you can kind of from the sides reach in and kind of, you know, get things. But I would like to be able to just have a tray or a way to get in to access that space underneath the seat a lot easier. Putting like, you know, a Plano box or some sort of like tackle box under there. But because the seat, there's a gap only of about this much. So it would even be kind of hard to go ahead and, you know, pull on a Plano box from out of there. And, um... That's one of the things I would like them to improve too. I would also like to have some sort of centralized storage. There's a huge deck in the front for you to play stuff, but you know, they don't have any kind of hatch in the front. I'd love to have like to put my cell phone or to put a few things like hooks or you know, just essential things to grab out of there. So that's another thing. Not a huge deal though. Um, but overall going over it, I mean like the performance of the kayak is awesome i would say that the customization is for me just a little bit below where i'd want to be but that's not a huge deal you can overall add stuff it's just adding to the price point of spending more money the hatch in the front is amazing if you are going camping or if you are going down a river and you're planning on you know spending the day out where you can go in and pull up get to access some of that stuff but for me personally i wouldn't be able to access that hatch on the front of the kayak while you're moving um i used to live i was talking about this place called river bend that would have been awesome for this kayak to have to go into that water super maneuverable paddles great um, the storage on the front, like I said, it would be nice if you're, you know, camping or if you're going on a long river trip. Um, definitely, have, um, you know, a, a positive, uh, good setup. So, that being said, I think this kayak is a 9 out of 10. And, I mean, a 10 out of 10 is, like, you, you got to be lights out for me um, overall. And, like, for a paddle kayak... The, the performance, the ease of use, the storage, the, pretty much everything is ideal. It's very simple, but yet they thought of everything for you as an angler. There's just one or two things that could be tweaked, I think, in my opinion. So that's why I'm giving it a 9 out of 10. And um, overall, I really like it. I picked it up because the name Old Town, you know, their customer service, their warranty, everything is, um, you know, a top of the line quality product and it really showed on the water today I think it is an awesome product I'd love to check out the PDL or the autopilot um, so you know Old Town if you want to you know throw your boy a Old Town autopilot or a PDL you know you know where to find me um, but I'm not affiliated with them uh, this is just my honest opinion of their kayak I think it's great and that's not you know by any means a stretch you can go on the look online. There's so many reviews of this kayak, and that's why I ultimately got it. So, that being said, that is going to do it for the video. It is a great kayak. I'm looking forward to using it. And um, today we're going to do the code word for if you guys are followed and subscribed to my channel. Go ahead and put the code word paddle in the comments, and you'll be entered for the month of July and August for the giveaway for a bunch of things like I have a Jupiter Bassin shirt, I have some baits that I'm gonna throw in there, I'm gonna throw in some of those Timu baits, I have a fishing reel that's going in there, a lot of good stuff. So you guys, all you gotta do is be subscribed to my channel, put paddle in the comments, and you'll be entered into the drawing for the end of, Ju uh, end of August, I'm sorry, for that giveaway. So put that in the comments, and, um, you know, any questions you guys have on this kayak or any, like, things you guys want me to do with this kayak, um, I'd be glad to hear it in the comments. Guys, let me know your thoughts. And until next time, y'all, peace.